Hey guys, Rocky again, welcome back to another quick video. So, I have wanted one of these for, no exaggerating, 20 plus years. This is an official Commodore A570 CD-ROM drive add-on for the Amiga 500 and 500 plus range. This came out in 92. Ironically, it came out after the Commodore had officially discontinued the 500 and 500 plus, so it was incompatible with the 600 and 1200 because they have a PCM CIA slot on the side, and not this big beastie here. So what this does, when plugged into 500, 500 plus, gives it CD-ROM, single speed, single session CD-ROM drive. It emulate well. It becomes a, an, um, a Commodore CD TV, so you can use the CD TV software. You can also play audio CDs with it, which I know that sounds stupid, but at the time that was a massive, massive, massive deal. So, plugs in inside here like this to the 500. You pull off the expansion cover and shove it in. On the back, got power. It takes a standard. 500 power brick, so it came with one of them. So you basically have to have two big power bricks. Audio in and out, so the idea with that would be you'd mix your audio from your 500, you would, instead of sending it straight to the TV, you'd mix it into this and out of this, so it'd mix the CD audio. Expansion cover, I believe the CD TV expansions are compatible. On the front, you've got a power stroke volume switch, a power LED and a CD access LED, the larger audio jack. There's no infrared sensor, so you can't use the CD TV infrared remote, but you can see so you have to use mouse or keyboard mapping. Now, I when I posted a couple of pictures of this on social media, people were fascinated by this. What this is. People had no idea. So I must be really old. So I had to go hunting for a CD. Here's a blank CD. Of course, modern CD drives or DVD, you put that in there. No, no, no. On the early, early, early CD-ROMs, this isn't just a commoner thing. This is what happened to the PCs and that as well. You open the caddy. You put in caddy. How do I do this? You close caddy, put that in. And that's how you put a CD in a machine. Now, this is filthy. And it, I didn't think it came with a caddy. So I actually ordered a second caddy, which turned up today. Uh, the, and these are just universal, they're not corner specific, but you can see the dirt here. So this has been inside this for a very long time. It is missing its cool little case badge, I will try and get another one. And it is missing its power supply. So I haven't tested it yet. This is literally exactly how I got it out of the box. I bought it from a guy who specialises in used car parts, so God knows where he's found it. Um, the prices in these are silly, as per usual. So my plan is I'm going to plug it. I'll pull out a 500 from the loft or a 500 plus, make sure that's still working, get that set up, get this and then plug this thing in and see where we can go from there. So that's going to be the next video, but I just thought I'd give you a quick brief overview of this little beastie here. So that's an Amiga A570 external CD-ROM drive. Again, one of the crazy things that come out. Oh, it's a complete flop when it came out. Um, I think they're like £300 new and they're selling for 99 not long after from Dixon's. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.